these numbers, can we paint bank earnings with a broad brush this quarter, or will each company have its own story to tell with their results? Well, banks always have their own story to tell. That's the, one of the unique things about banks. Everybody do, does want to pay with the same brush because they do, the same drivers drive from the economy, the yield curve, all these macro things. But every bank does have a unique story. So you can't sit there and say, you know, what's going to happen across all the banks. But I will say this, you know, given where we are in the economy, given the fact that the rates have dropped, given the fact that we are seeing some loan growth, but not a lot, um, and the mortgage, on the mortgage banking side, we're probably going to report a 14-year low in originations. I think banks will struggle through the earnings process, not saying they're all going to miss numbers. You know, if they do miss, there'd be a couple pennies here and there. But I do think that the bank's earnings will be somewhat of a disappointment. I don't think investors really care. Investors are not looking at this quarter, next quarter, even the third quarter in earnings. What they're looking at is 2015 and 2016 and hoping for higher rates. And we do get higher rates, they believe that the bank's earnings will grow a lot. And that's what really people are trading these banks on, not on what's happening now. Now, a lot of investors look at it as the rear view mirror type investing, and they don't do that. They're looking forward out and banking on higher rates down the road. So how will we see banks' bottom lines benefit? It's been a while since we can talk about rising interest rates and the impact on the bottom line. Would you expect, for instance, some of these shops to beef up the fixed income side of their business? Well, right now, fixed income, especially for the big guys, are struggling a little bit. You know, MBS issuance, which is one of the biggest trading blocks for these fixed income deaths, is down to $55 billion in the month of March. Almost, you know, that we were at $160 billion a year ago back in April and May. That's a huge amount of volume that's just gone. It's mainly gone because the refis have gone away and the purchase market and the, and the origination numbers have not really come back. So no, you can't really beef up your fixed income trading desk. I think what you're going to see is some layoffs and downsizing in that, as I, as I believe a lot of people are going to be looking at this mortgage market, given where rates are today and that rates are not expected to fall that we're probably at a you know low or you know and be at this low lo volume level for origination so that's not where it's going to come from what banks are going to talk about they're going to talk about how great the lending environment is that how many businesses are coming to them that optimism has come back to the business world this is what they talked about in the first quarter and this I mean the fourth quarter earnings calls and this is what they're going to talk about in the second earnings calls